Hey, how are you guys doing? This is Roxanne, and I want to bring you some breaking DoorDash news. DoorDash will start making their own engineers deliver food. This mandatory practice called WeDash will start from 2022. You need to dash once a month and will be tracked in performance reviews. And some of Josh comments, DoorDash is making employees, including the CEO, do one dash a month and employees are upset. This is on Reddit and it was taken from Twitter. And some of the comments we got, this sounds great in theory, but I suspect most executives will get exceptions and the only people this will impact are the office staff who probably don't want to do any of this. And let's get some more feedback from people. Scroll, scroll, scroll. Developer here and I fully support this initiative. I work with wind turbines and outdoor dash but the general notion of all office monkeys like us getting into the mud every once in a while really helps put things into perspective. So, I mean, that's what I think they're trying to do is get people to get out there and see how their app is crappy or good or what, you know, the positive or negatives out are out there. Driving for DoorDash for fun and doing it because you need the money are two different, very experience, two very different experiences. Pardon me. Management will take away all the wrong lessons because they're not in the mindset of the average driver. For example, management doing it for research is going to enjoy the hell out of it, sitting in a crowded restaurant, playing on their phones, waiting for the food. To them, it's a break. To the rest of us, driving because we got bills, those breaks really F our wage at the end of the day. Every minute I wait for food is a minute I'm not making money. R slash DoorDash is on fire with this story right now. None of us are excited about it. So let's upvote that. That's a good that's a good perspective too. That they might not take it seriously, they don't want to do it. Let's get some more perspective. It's actually because most of them have no idea W2F they're doing and don't want to be embarrassed by a new employee that picks it up faster than them. I've worked with these morons side by side. Everything is talk and assumptions with absolutely zero thought into people, into the people behind their dumb ideas. The further up the ladder, the more detached from reality they are. They are probably forcing, forced into the brainwashing meeting, didn't want to be there. How dare you have a good idea that puts effort on me? Fall in line. That's a good point, too. Plot twist. The CEO gets held up at gunpoint on his first delivery. Wow, that it would be crazy, wouldn't it? This accomplishes two things that is not helpful for the worker. It creates the illusion that the company cares and the employees are, inv are invested. To use their example of an engineer, there is no value derived from an engineer delivery, something beyond the value of the delivery. It creates a requirement that will enable management to manufacture performance issues. There is no hypothetical scenario in which purging a good engineer because they don't deliver crap and it's beneficial to the corporation. They will purge everyone who whoever they want to purge, and this requirement will be used as justification. The idea that upper management will do this is just pure PR. That's a good question. That's a good perspective out of that too. That there's they'll just act like they're doing it, huh? Not in my job description. That is kind of funny.
like Bezos, his executives, and all the white collar staff should be required to work in an Amazon warehouse for one week a month and get paid entry level with no benefits. That, I mean, that would be eye opening, huh? Reduce your pay, and you have to do DoorDash for you know a week or a day or whatever. Oh, scrolling too fast. I worked in an office of a manufacturing company once. Just because they could, every once in a while, they'd send us onto the shop floor to assemble machines. It was so stupid. I knew nothing about the tools nor how to assemble their machines. You wouldn't want the machines I assembled, lol. So it meant standing around watching why guys who had been trained did the assembling. The company was really into showing employees who was boss. They made us come in on Saturday suit just for the fun of it because they could. How about they forego their normal salary for three months and work exec exclusively as Asher's? That's a good point too. So what do you guys think? about this is it just for show is it really going to happen i noticed in some of the comments they were saying they're they'll, they'll just find exemptions um where they don't have to do it i just thought it was interesting and it was posted on reddit and i wanted to bring that to you and test out a new feature for youtube well i will talk to you all later and hopefully I catch you on the next video or live stream, or in the comment section. Take care, everyone. Goodbye.